So how do you treat shellfish allergy or seafood allergy? So first of all, you have to know that you have that seafood allergy, meaning you have to have had a reaction. And then once we know you have a reaction, let's say to shrimp, then we can do some testing, either by scratch testing or by blood work. And that'll give me a level of how much IgE or, or allergy antibody you have to, let's say, shrimp. Once I know those levels, I can get a risk somewhat of what the reaction would be. But in reality, most of the time, it's just avoidance. Um, and being aware, we do have desensitizations for many, many foods, but shellfish, the, the protein is so variable that it's difficult to do the, the desensitization. I would say I do have many, many people who were told they were shellfish allergic for various reasons, and when retesting is totally negative or very low, and we do challenges to see if they truly are or not. So that's an option. We do challenges all the time. But in general, if someone is truly shellfish allergic with documented antibodies, a documented allergy to that, um, the treatment avoidance and making sure you have an epinephrine injector.